Hi everybody. As many of you will have seen from my last video, the channel has now reached a thousand subscribers. However, let's keep in focus what the purpose of this channel actually is. This channel was never set up for me to become a YouTuber. The sole purpose of this channel is to expose a crime and that crime is a global fraud, global corruption in the sport of Formula One. Now, the world's media are not exposing it. Despite me contacting them, despite me giving them clear accounts of what is wrong, they have not exposed it. And so far, despite reporting this to the UK Serious, serious Fraud Office, they too have not done anything about it. So, it's, um, it's then left to the likes of myself actually exposing the truth of the situation on YouTube in the hope that um, more and more people can get to see the true nature of what truly took place. And only then, when enough people are able to see it, are able to see the reality as opposed to the lies that has been fed to the world by the media hopefully then will those in authority be forced to take action against the perpetrators of this and if they don't then as a collective we will in terms of a civil case because there are strong grounds for a civil case against this sport. Okay? But there needs to be a criminal case for the fraud and corruption that is clear. Now, when people subscribe to a YouTube channel, it's often the case that they don't go through the back catalogue of videos that have already been produced. So many of the people that are new to the channel aren't going to go through my old videos and see the things I've already presented. Um, if that's the case for yourself, please try to do so, because what I have evidenced is the fact that in Abu Dhabi 2021, numerous parties conspired to produce the outcome that we saw. That includes F1 TV, the people who create the global feed, what, what is broadcast to all of us through our televisions, they created a narrative. They did not show us the true um, important things that should have been shown to ourselves. They did not show us the true nature of the clear up operation of Nicholas Latifi's car. Uh, and because, because ultimately that was the most important thing. The timing of that would determine whether it is possible for a racing resumption. OK, we weren't shown that. Instead, the shot kept cutting from one thing to another, um, but being interjected with radio messages between the driver and their pit crew, which created the narrative of fed into this notion that it was likely for us to see a racing resum resumption, creating this um, jeopardy, this false excitement, creating this build-up to what we then saw. When you analyse the true nature of those broadcasts, which were selected by F1 TV, because they weren't live, they were heard they were picked out and purposely broadcast to the world. They were not valid in accordance with the rules of the sport. And yet they were chosen to present to us. As this was going on, Sky Sports F1, in the form of Martin Brundle and David Croft, lied to the audience about the rules of the sport. I've proven their lies. I've proven what the rules are, I've proven the implications of those rules. I've proven that Massey knew the rules. I've proven that these two commentators have commentated at events 
where they have seen these rules in operations and understand the implications of those rules. So they made up numerous scenarios with which it, they claimed to the world it was possible to resume racing. They were not valid. They were lies. They were entire lies, not in accordance with the rules of the sport. And yet they presented to the world that we were likely to see a racing end to that event. They fed in to that narrative through their corrupt broadcasting. We then see the so-called Michael Massey error, where he manufactured that scenario, the two-car race-off, to determine the outcome of the World Championship. The simple statement is this. You cannot just separate out two cars in a multi-competitor event and set them off to race off for the win whilst holding the other competitors back behind cars that are effectively in the way of third position, being able to challenge for either of them top two slots. That in itself would win any court case that arises as a result of this. That is a slam dunk. There is a lot more to it than that. But no media has expressed it in such simple terms to enable people to understand. Instead, all they've done is sought to validate They've come out with fake excuses, fake reasoning, never exposed the true implications of the rule breaks, never exposed the true nature of what was taking place, and instead just tried to validate it with this notion of how much one competitor deserved it. Despite the fact that them two competitors were level on points. One supposedly deserved it far more than the other one. That's rather strange, isn't it? Especially when the only reason they were level on points going into that race was because one had been gifted a race win where no racing took place. So actually, one of the competitors should have been five points ahead. But due to being gifted a win, a so-called win of a Belgian parade, it meant there were level on points and that made him deserving of becoming the world champion. A total narrative, total narrative. After the race, the four stewards corruptly, absolutely corruptly, dismissed the Mercedes valid appeal. I've proven that as I've gone through the FIA report into that steward's appeal. Watch the video. Subsequently, the FIA could and should have reversed the standings of that result. In between that race and the Thursday, which was the supposed deadline for the Mercedes appeal, the FIA themselves could have taken it upon themselves to tell the world, look, this was wrong, this is why it was wrong, these are the implications of what was done, and therefore this is the reason why we need to reverse this. They could have done that, they could have explained it to everybody, so that everybody would have become educated, and everybody could have understood it. They didn't do it. Instead, they claimed that they were going to conduct a full review. They took two and a half months they concocted a pile of horseshit, which is with utterly irrelevant factors in it, feeble excuses, and made the claim that it was just effectively an error by a man that was under pressure in difficult circumstances, but they were satisfied with the result, and therefore they rubber stamped the result and decided that was final. The world's media, the contracted media, Sky Sports, they made numerous programmes purposefully designed to validate the outcome and to condition viewers to accept what they'd been presented with. 
they they lied they made irrelevant things up and they just served to try to validate and condition people to accept and to move on that is not authentic that's not normal there was no expose of the true implications of what took place why it was wrong who was truly impacted and why it could not be allowed to stand instead just the constant promotion of this narrative of one of the competitors fully deserving it so uh, oh and in the background of all of this happening liberty media the owners of the sport their wealth grew by 4.8 billion dollars during that 12 month period of the 2021 um, season that does not happen by chance it happens by design these events this sequence of events does not happen by chance it happens by design it happens when parties are conspiring together to contrive an outcome because that outcome could not happen alone by chance authentic broadcasters and commentators would be calling out what is wrong as it is happening that never happened and yet there are millions of people worldwide that do not see this and do not understand it instead what we have is we have a large section of people that believe it to be authentic some of them people are now have chosen to subscribe to this channel and have come here specifically to try to undermine and discredit the things that i am presenting and evidencing and we'll call them trolls because many of them are they are extreme fans of max verstappen or they enjoy to come in and to make comments to try and get reactions out of people they come in to try to disrupt that is their nature they will make comments such as ha ha you don't have any evidence this is just your opinion they do not understand that what i am presenting is factual these things actually happened i am showing video footage of it actually happening i am showing i'm displaying the audio of things actually taking place and they, then i am breaking it down to demonstrate and evidence why it is exactly wrong and yet these people either know it was wrong but just want to create controversy or they don't believe me because sky sports have told them one thing so they believe the authenticity within that and don't do not believe what i am saying they do not have the ability to absorb what i am presenting process it challenge their own thought process to say is that correct what is what is right is my own understanding right is what sky sports have told me correct even though sky sports have never explained this to me okay is what i believe correct or is what has just been explained to me in these videos does that make perfect sense and could there be any other reason for what is being explained when i'm explaining the rules and the purpose of the rules is there another reason and there isn't the rules are what they are for the reasons i am explaining them to be and yet people will still challenge people will still try to discredit and undermine now when i get comments in the comment section from those type of people i am not interested in them the channel was set up to present factual information it's not there to ask for people's opinions as to what they think 
okay? Because I don't need the opinions of a Max Verstappen fan as to whether they think the facts that are being presented are true or not. It's binary. Something either happened or it didn't. And I am clearly evidencing that something happened and then I am explaining just how wrong that is. It is as simple as that. The comments I do love are the ones of people who know this to be wrong and are finally seeing this being presented as being wrong, that they know just how wrong it is and are equally frustrated as myself that nowhere else is presenting this. And I love the comments which come in from people that have got tremendous insight that are further adding to what I am trying to expose. They're giving us all the benefit of their experience and the things that they're seeing which enhance everything for us all. So I do value the people that are um, supportive of the channel and contributing to this effort. But the trolling comments, the opinions of people that, that are ignorant and have no knowledge, I'm not interested in that, but we are going to see an increase of them as this channel grows and gets more exposure. It, the, the Max Verstappen fans will stumble across it and they will seek to jump in the comment section and try to discredit and to try and to undermine uh, and disrupt what is being presented on this channel. So to all the decent people that are part of this channel now, please try not to get triggered by the fools and bear in mind this little video when we see these foolish comments. Okay, children, let's start the day with a few new math problems. What is five times two? Come on, children, don't be shy. Just give it your best shot. Yes, Clyde. Twelve. Okay, now let's try to get an answer from someone who's not a complete retard. Anyone? That is why I do not ask the Max fans for their opinions. Okay? They are conditioned to believe what they've been told. They like the outcome that was generated. They like what they have been told. And they can't challenge their own thought process to believe anything else. And instead, they will seek to try and claim that I'm wrong. Okay? We cannot argue with these people. Their brains operate the way they, they operate. Okay? They lack the ability to assess the information that's being presented and work out for themselves which is factually correct and which is questionable. And instead, they will try to discredit and undermine. Okay? So, um, just on a final note, and again, um, just going forward on the channel really is a case of, I'm going to repeat some of the things because I'm aware that um, people will not be looking at all the videos that I've currently done. So I'm going to have to reproduce some of them. Uh, show certain things in a different manner. Um, there's still various videos I've got to do to expose the FIA report that they took two and a half months over. And there's still numerous um, Sky Sports presentations that I need to go through. And again, expose all the lies being told in every single one. Because I can do that. Now... We've got one troll in particular that's uh, a new addition, and he likes. He's got this quote memorized, and uh, he's put it in the comments section um, several times, and it's basically the Sky Sports commentary in those last few turns of Abu Dhabi, as they're pronouncing Max Verstappen to be the world champion. And I guess my uh, best way to counter that is with this that I have memorized. Here's the situation. Normally, both your assets would be dead as fucking fried chicken, but you happen to pull this shit while I'm in a transitional period and I don't want to kill you. I want to help you. But I can't give you this case. 
is it don't belong to me. Besides, I've been through too much shit over this case this morning to just hand it over to your dumb ass. Vincent! <laughs> Be cool! Yolanda, it's cool, baby. It's cool! We still just talking. Come on, point the gun at me! Point the gun at me! There you go. Now, Vincent, you just hang back and don't do a goddamn thing. Tell him we're still cool. Still cool, honey bunny. How we doing, baby? I, I gotta go pee. I'm gonna go home. Just hang in there, baby. You're doing great. I'm proud of you. And Ringo's proud of you. It's almost over. Tell her you're proud of her. Proud of you, honey bunny. I love you. I love you too, honey bunny. Now, I want you to go in that bag and find my wallet. Which one is it? It's the one that says bad motherfucker. That's it. That's my bad motherfucker. Open it up. Take out the money. Count it. How much is that? About $1,500. Okay, put it in your pocket. It's yours. Now, with the rest of those wallets in the register, that makes this a pretty successful little score, huh? Jules, you give that fucking Nimrod $1,500, and I'll shoot him on general principle. No, Yolanda, Yolanda, he ain't gonna do a goddamn motherfucking thing. Bitch, shut the fuck up! Shut up! Come on, Yolanda, stay with me, baby. Now, I ain't giving it to him, Vincent. I'm buying something for my money. You wanna know what I'm buying, Ringo? What? Your life. I'm giving you that money so I don't have to kill your ass. You read the Bible, Ringo? Not regularly, no. Well, there's this passage I got memorized. Ezekiel 25, 17. The path of the righteous man is beset on all sides by the inequities of the selfish and the tyranny of evil men. Blessed is he who, in the name of charity and goodwill, shepherds the weak through the valley of darkness, for he is truly his brother's keeper and the finder of lost children. And I will strike down upon thee with great vengeance and furious anger those who attempt to poison and destroy my brothers. And you will know I am the Lord when I lay my vengeance upon you. I've been saying that shit for years. And if you heard it, that meant your ass. I never gave much thought to what it meant. I just thought it was some cold-blooded shit to say to a motherfucker before I popped a cap in his ass. But I saw some shit this morning made me think twice. See, now I'm thinking, maybe it means you're the evil man and I'm the righteous man. And Mr. Nine Millimeter here, he's the shepherd protecting my righteous ass in the valley of darkness. Or it could mean you're the righteous man and I'm the shepherd. And it's the world that's evil and selfish. Now, I'd like that. But that shit ain't the truth. The truth is, you're the weak. And I am the tyranny of evil men. But I'm trying, Ringo. I'm trying real hard to be the shepherd. So as the trolling increases, which it will, please try not to react, please try not to engage, ignore it where possible, make a note of it, take a screenshot, record it as evidence that will be used in the future and all will become clear on that. But we've got to show people the fact that what took place was corrupt, it was contrived, 
People have been conditioned to believe it and to accept it. And we need to expose what truly happened. Thank you for your continued support. And more will be exposed. And I look forward to your future contributions and assistance from everybody. Thank you.